So it's week six and we've got about 20 weeks left of training to try and complete an Ironman. So you might notice it's a little bit brighter today because I'm not filming my speech at 12 a.m. on a Saturday night. I actually got some pretty cool news this week. And that was that one of the films I made for Tuco, I submitted in a competition. And I got notified this week that the film I made is going to be in the exhibition. Now reflecting back on this film, there's a few things I would have changed. But I'll talk it at the end of the video so you can watch it at the end. It's pretty surreal knowing that hopefully I'm playing my part in raising awareness for osteosarcoma. I haven't trained too much this week, but I'll explain why throughout the video. I've just gotten out of bed. The hair is everywhere, but we've got a long ride today because of what happened Monday. So Monday, I decided to run my 10 kilometer in my Clifton nines. I usually run anything under 10 Ks in my Clifton nines and I've never had a problem um, and anything over in my super comps. Maybe at the seven kilometer mark, my feet started cramping in my Clifton nines, which I've never had before. And then that resulted in me having a sore soleus for a little bit. So I've decided to deload my running for the week to hopefully try and help with that. All right, so these are the culprits. No, I'm joking. A lot of people would probably love these shoes. I've seen a lot of good reviews about them. Um, and to be honest, they did feel really good when I was using them in clinic and everything. But they felt fine for the short runs and then the longer runs. Um, I mean, it only happened that one incident, but I don't really want to have any setbacks. So I'm just going to go back to my super comps and leave these guys for clinic um, and not to do long runs in. I think it's just the lower drop on the shoe for a long distance because I've mainly been wearing my super comps uh, for two out of three runs of the week. The plan this week is to do a bit more on bike and swimming. We're about to watch the Beckham documentary again and that's all I've been watching on my rides this week. So just going to try and smash out a two hour ride. Let's smash this ride. Let's have a good day. Let's get it all done. I can't speak to the camera. I get so nervous. All right, so we're just on the bike ride. We are now going to make breakfast and then we're going to go into an upper body session. When I grew up, I always watched David Lade and Christian Guzman on YouTube. And I was like, imagine filming in the gym. Like how cool that would be. But you know, I always had this conception that you had to be massive to film in the gym. I don't really find filming in the gym a problem. I mean, you get weird looks and everything, especially when you're not massive and you're just a normal size guy. All right, so let's make some bricky. I will take myself up and we'll go from there. Self done it. What do you think of it? It's the worst. So we just arrived to the gym. We're about to do a back and buy session. I'm not gonna do a mic'd up session. Uh, maybe I'll get the confidence for it one day, but my confidence is not that high. So one day we'll get to it, but that day's not today. Shout out to Steve. The boy getting love from the harsh critics. Strauss hit me by weekly the time he keeps taking it further. You aren't finished and I gotta listen. Any son of believing and see that I'm actually breathing and doing it real time. Though the pulling idea out there and there. Act on it and profit in real life. If we not aligned, or present me a dotted line. Yeah, I'm a QB, but I ain't handing on nothing for someone to monetize. And it goes to the birds too. Can't give it a time if a dollar's a cut of eyes. They get X out, but they had the potential to be my ex. I know how to plays, I'm a season vet. Yeah. The guy. Uh, you're the best, thank you. Thank you. Tico's coffee. The best. You're a taste test. Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> I've done it again. Oh. So once we got back, I also did a little bit more recovery and hopped in a nice bath and then later went into a sauna. So I did some foam rolling while Spencer did his bike session on my bike, which was absurdly too small for him, but he got it done. Here's me foam rolling with Boston, who will not leave me alone. I've been waiting to do a little bit of an edit, so here it is for 10 seconds. That's it. This is going to sound really stupid, but the goggles I'm using, the nose on them like was always so tight and I never looked in the actual package 
And there's the nose things. And there they are. So, now my nose won't be so sore after swimming. But, that's a win. Whenever you're doing something new, probably not the equipment's fault. It's probably your fault, like me. Everything's my fault at the moment. Except for those hawkers, man. Except for that, that's not my fault. Actually, it sort of is. It's my fault for choosing them to run in for 10 days. I've been using this. Um, it hasn't really worked, but it has at the same time. Um, it, it worked a few times and then now it's not really working, but if anyone has any solutions apart from earplugs, because earplugs kept falling out my ears and I don't really want to go get custom earplugs. But if anyone has any other solutions, let me know, drop it in the comments. Um, I'm sure everyone would love to know as well. I will be up at 3 a.m. tomorrow to do this Ned Broppins run. It's 3 a.m. We have decided we're not going. Because it is way too early to go for a 10 kilometer run for me. So, Sam and I have caught it quits. We're quitters. Anyway, I'm going back to sleep. This is not a sponsor review, but I just wanted to show everyone what I got. Came with gloves. I don't really know what the gloves are for, but I got this bad boy. It's a bit overkill, I think, for, for me, because I'm not very good. But that's what I got. Um, I'm a stocky medium from what I was told. <laughs> so, so we'll take it. But I know these guys were like $1,000 and they were down to 500 just because of the colorway. And I was like, I don't care about the colorway. Um, I just need a wetsuit. It is the Propel Pro. Um, that's just basically wetsuit care. So if you wanted to read it, or I just put it up in the screen, maybe it'll help you out. I'm not sure. But yeah, I probably won't be using it for the next couple of weeks anyway. It was just, it was on sale at the time. So I was like, I may as well grab it, especially with half price. And does anyone know what these gloves are for that came with it? Uh, I don't know what they're for. So this week I also got to be a fake model for a fellow creator. And here's some of the footage. Around and kind of spin around as well, like get some motion in the bag. Yeah. Um, a huge shout out to Evie as well because two hundred fifty dollars is a lot of money to donate, and I really appreciate it. And I'm sure all the guys at Tuco also appreciate it. It's not just all about money; the money goes directly to Tuco. Thank you to everyone who's commenting to give advice or even messaging me on Instagram to help support or even give me advice. I really appreciate it, and it's super cool. So Sean, one of the two code directors is completing the Higher Fine Man in Melbourne and I'll be filming that and that will likely be most of next week's video. Thank you all again for watching. Here is my finalist video for two code in the Color Pro Awards. So what does it mean to rise? Is it pushing your limits when the world is still asleep? Or embracing the solitude of your journey. It's in the details and in the sweat that fuels your dreams. Rising is not just about reaching the summer, it's about the climb itself. It's the fire that burns within you when the world is at its darkest. So you ask what it means to rise? That's what it means. is to embrace the challenge, to conquer your doubts, and to emerge stronger than before. Keep rising. Keep rising. Hello, I'm Zane Coy, I'm 19 years old. I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma. And refused to give up. And refused to give up. And refused to give up.